emotional support animal um, works in the home and they work with their handler, their family member, um, to provide emotional support. Um, they don't have public access um, privileges except for on airplanes um, and they are legally protected as far as um, housing goes. Um, therapy dogs are not legally protected. They go outside of the home to specific facilities who allow them in to provide emotional comfort and support to the people who are in those facilities. Um, their, their handler is, is their family member, but they're not providing the services to their family member. So they're working as a team. Okay, one step at a time on a loose leash for the center of the room. Have your dog sit or down after each step. The service dog is also working as a team, but the dog is providing specific um, trained commands to mitigate a disability that their handler has. Um, and they are allowed everywhere. Um, they're federally, federally protected because one, their handler um, slash owner has to have a disability that is negatively imp impacting their life. And two, the dog has to be specifically trained to provide a specific task that then mitigates that disability. Um, service dogs also need to be trained to um, be safe in those public access, public um, arenas because they are in you know stores and restaurants and movie theaters, and we don't want um, any sort of uh, you know threat to public safety or to the dog's safety as well. Hello, gotcha. Good boy. Well, the emotional support dog doesn't really need any extra training. Um, they are not doing any trained task. They're just being a dog um, and doing what dogs do best. I always recommend that people who have ESAs get their dog at least the basics trained so that they're not causing more stress because the dog is there to alleviate um, emotional stresses. The therapy dog does need some training um, because they need to be safe and in control in public environments and um, you know nationwide we're moving towards having more and more therapy dogs registered with national therapy dog dog organizations. And there's several out there to choose from, but those organizations then have an evaluation process that the dog has to then complete. Service dogs require a ton of training. They need to have all that um, basic obedience stuff done. They need to be 100% all the time, no matter what, on those tasks that, they, that the owner needs them to do. And then they also need to be trained to know where to be, when to be, in a public arena so that they're not in the way, um, nobody's tripping over them. We, we want the, you know, if the dog is in the store, we don't want people to immediately say, oh, there's a puppy there. Um, we want the dog to be as invisible as possible while doing their tasks. <laughs>